The NMC OzKey is changing, and our course is changing too. From this summer, the NMC OzKey is going to be 10 stations, and we've got 10 rooms to match. Practice every station in our state-of-the-art Central London Training Centre, or connect with the centre through VR from wherever you are in the world. 10 stations, 10 rooms. Yes, the number you need is 0203 637 6722. That's 0203 637 6722. To your success. Hello, my name is George here. Welcome to our channel. And today we have a very special guest. Hi everyone. Um, I am Yam Yam Fadol. I am a care. I was a care home nurse, and um, I live in one of the beautiful places in Northeast. It's called um, Hexham, Northumberland. But currently, I'm living in Liverpool. However, I can still um, share to you uh, the cost of living in um, countryside. It's not easy talaga. I January of this year. So, um, I moved here in Liverpool last month. So, basically, um, around seven months on that place. Um, I transferred here because of change of um, job. Man knows best. Um, dun sa countryside, since um, I am with my family, so nakatira kami sa um, two-bedroom terrace house. Um, the rent was 525 pounds um excluding bills um electricity namin is around let's say 145 pounds ano siya um it's fixed um kasama na dyan yung gas and uh, um electricity and then water is around 26 pounds and then council tax um it's around 110 to 120 pounds per month. And then Wi Fi, 26 pounds. So, you know, 525 for a two bedroom terrace house. Man knows best. Yung town kasi namin, ano siya, um, it's a 45 or one hour away from the city. But my workplace was nasa town lang siya. It's walking distance that 25 minutes. Um, walang bus sa town namin kasi sobrang liit lang siya, nalalakad lang lahat. So, I don't pay for um, transportation. I walk. But when I go sa city, um, I pay 7 pounds. That's for a return or all-day ticket. So, yeah, walang, walang transportation sa town namin. Man knows best cost of living in countryside is a lot cheaper than in most major cities, um, especially sa rental and property prices. But siguro when it comes to goods, I think um, general or same, same lang naman yung rate ng mga major supermarket. But, you know, when in terms of other products or like, let's say, fashion, when you are in a countryside, you will feel less inclined to buy things. Kasi, you know, medyo malayo-layo na yung city. So, mas makatipid ka kasi hindi ka gastos ng gastos. One of the advantage advantages of um, living in countryside is uh, yung house, malalaki yung space. Like, you can have a two-bedroom and you can even have a big garden for your family, for your kids. And that's, you know, let's say 500 to 600 pounds a month not so bad um and if you're a nature lover or you know um living in a city can be stressful at times especially the traffic so when you are in the countryside less traffic you have more or you have ample time to enjoy nature and then it's healthy for your mind and body kasi mas you know mas nakaka 
ano ka nakakapag-isip ka ng maayos and the community since it's a town since it's countryside everybody knows each other so you know they can help you anytime it's laid back relaxing and um it's also a lot safer i think for me ha since i have my child living in a countryside is a lot safer than being in in a city Man knows best. fewer job opportunities if you have dependents if you have husband or wife um, who's planning to work here in the uk um or this may may not be a concern to you but you know it's still worth thinking na um generally career opportunities are um less lang siya sa countryside kasi sometimes iilan lang yung mga stores iilan lang yung mga infrastructure yung mga companies nandoon doon sa countryside compared sa city another is there are um fewer social or entertainment Um, options um, unlike in a city where there are theaters where there are um, music concerts you will find them less in a countryside so if you're a person who comes from a city in Philippines then if you will go in the countryside you will kind of feel isolated medyo yeah medyo ano um, malulungkot ka in your few years pag hindi ka sanay na nasa countryside and um, also if you have family most of the rural areas or countryside have few um, school options um, no colleges or no universities so what's gonna happen is that um, the kids when they grow up they tend to go to Uh, bigger cities to pursue further education kasi wala yun masyado sa countryside and the health facilities also um, if there are serious illnesses you still need to go or we still need to bring our patients to cities para mas mano sila so they can receive you know further treatment kasi yung mga hospitals well in my town in my previous town yung hospital lang namin is You know, just a general hospital, so hindi siya na, hindi niya nakikater lahat ng mga serious illnesses. So we still need to travel them to Newcastle. Yun yung mga and travel also. If you would like to go to a city, sometimes it will, um, you know, almost all day of traveling just to go, just to go to a city. If you want, let's say for example, um, renew your passport sa city yun ginagawa. So medyo ano den, medyo hassle then or medyo tiring then when you need to go to city just to do everything kasi wala yun sa place mo Man knows best. living in a countryside is not for everybody talaga um, although it offers a wonderful quality of life because it's healthier less polluted you know it's laid back quiet but if you're single um, in our few years few months here in the UK talagang yung number one talaga na kalaban mo is homesickness and you need to do something to divert your attention but hindi mo siya masyado magagawa sa countryside kasi ma- kunti nga lang yung pwede mo gawin so you you have to think you have you have to um, know your wants your needs and the needs of your lifestyle kung pwede ba siya sa countryside, especially if you're a city person. But for people or nurses who are coming with family, well, countryside talaga is the best um, place for you and your family. You can save easier. You can purchase um, house. Kasi mga affordable yung mga house doon. And um, safer. Safer than sa family for your kids. So you just have to think because you cannot just like, you know, um, live in the countryside and then when you realize that you don't want, you don't like the place, you can just transfer um, and then, you know, you like the place, you like your job, but you just don't like the place. It will, parang maano kayo, ma- malilito ka. So you just have to think na, pwede kang, um, for many, the compromise may be to live 
um, on the out outskirts of town and uh, with easy access to um, both the amenities of the town and also to the countryside. May mga ganun, may mga ganun na place yun, mga urban na uh, malapit siya sa um, countryside, malapit din naman siya sa city. So, you can also um, uh, put that into consideration. Currently, I am living in Liverpool and uh, it's a city, it's a big city, guys. But luckily, I found um, a place. Um, it's a two-bedroom flat. Um, this is just 25 pounds higher than in my previous um, place. So it's still, you know, pasok pa rin sa budget. And also more job opportunities for my um, husband. Um, so if you're going to ask me, <laughs> if you're going to ask me um, which do I prefer, um, countryside or city, since I'm currently living in a city, I would go in a city na affordable. Kasi merong city na mahal like London. Um, yung city na affordable would be Newcastle, um, uh, Birmingham, may mga place, and also Liverpool. So, yeah. Always remember, Manong Knows. Manong Knows best Jewelries to rest when staying in the United Kingdom. Man knows best.